Alexander here, back with some more Vampire. What about the Brotherhood? Will they eject you? I remain a member. I have information to provide now. Intelligence from the other side, if I may say so. They won't banish you. Not so long as I behave. How do you feel since you changed? Absolutely fine. Did you know I can determine the health of every patient or nurse just by looking at him? Fascinating. Have you taken a life yet, Edgar? Don't you think that's a private matter? I would not ask you such an indiscreet question. Two. Well, three. <laughs> Do you feel the hunger? Yes. It's very peculiar. Not like mortal hunger at all. It's like I'm never sated. Fortunately, blood is no rare commodity at Pembroke. What will you do now that you are immortal? Experiment, my dear colleague. I have an eternity to make scientific progress. I could be the only scientist able to undertake extreme experiments upon himself. My God, Edgar. Did you learn nothing from your forays into folly? I have, I swear. No more experiments on mortals. See? I said mortals. <laughs> How quickly the mind adapts! What kind of experiments? Who knows? Nervous shock, brain damage, pain and recovery. There's almost no limit to what my body can now endure. I could be the next Henry Head. Will you continue as Pembroke's administrator? Of course. I can help more than ever. And since I'm already dead, I can't get sick. Are you not afraid Prewen will find you? Next time, they will do more than abduct and torture you. I remain a man of peace. If things were to go awry, I would flee rather than slice them up as you would, my friend. Have you seen Elizabeth? Has she passed this way since you returned? No. And I'm terrified to see her again. I really am, Jonathan. She could very well tear me to pieces for what I did. Goodbye, Edgar. And honestly, could I'm you blame her? We'll meet again. Anyways, it's time to head off. To go and try to save London. Gwyneth. Oh, okay. But I say, why, why just hang up? They, like, would have had the actual, like, uh. It would have had her, uh, medical name. I would have, like, there was a nurse brain or brain in on that. So I'd be like, oh, okay. All right. Okay, we're on the right track. Did I already kill you? Seriously, screw off. I just wasn't going to let him live. Can you not?
There we go. head for the other side. Maybe we'll even stop by and talk to Sean, see if there's anything new with him. It's been a while. Boom, boom, boom. Stupid fucking beast! The power of the Lord would command you! All right. All right, Sean, I got some bad news about your friend, about one of your friends, yes, one of our mutuals. Have you seen Harriet Jones since taking her to Old Bridget? No. She is with the sewer scowls now. I don't go downstairs. Uh, there might be something new. Alright, back downstairs. Fortunately, we have to. See how many of the skulls we can save. All right, what are we walking into? This place has been ransacked. Yeah, and a lot of blood. They've all been slaughtered. Pre one. No, not their style. Yeah, I know. There'd be fire and. Of course, like I said, fight time. Or at least save some of them because they seem pretty nice, these ones. Oh, you again. Take not a step further, child, for you are unprepared. You at last. I wondered when you would show your face again. Step away. We have nothing to discuss. Desist, child. You cannot confront the monstrosity unleashed upon this land without due preparation. I shall not allow it. All right. But no more riddles. Enough of the obscure songs and prophecies. I ask questions, and you answer them. My words have been as clear as crystal lakes, my child. You seem unwilling to drink, to listen, to learn. Why did you choose me? Only you could provide a modern scientific answer to this ancient mystical threat. What kind of modern? Disease, contagion, and contamination. How they course through veins is your dominion, my child. Your choices have made you. Only you can save this land. Speak to me of this ancient threat. The blood of hate. 
vessel of the wrath of the goddess. When she awakens, a disaster will be born into this world, for she is hunger and anger. What is your true appearance? I do not understand. This is who I am. Blood? You are made of blood? Surely you are joking. Why would I? And no, I'm not made of blood. I am blood. Blood is what I am since my birth and for eternity. But who are you really? Tell me your name. I am your maker. I am the servant of the Red Goddess and protector of this land. I have many names. Just give me one, then. There are those who call me Merdin Wild, the Wild Horned Man. But I never was a man. I was born out of blood. I'm here to stop Harriet Jones. She is the original carrier. The well from which this corruption flows. I have heard you, but be wary. Harriet Jones's mind is no more. She has metamorphosed into an apocalypse. Born from, drenched in, and driven by the blood of hate. What is the blood of hate? It is the curse of the goddess. It is the hunger in you. The need for blood. The will to strike and to punish. To spit in the eye of God. Tell me about this disaster, creature. I know London fell victim to such a thing in 1666. A disaster is pure anger born through blood. Its name means bad star, for they only appear when our queen unleashes her unquenchable wrath upon the world. And who is this queen? She is the Red Goddess, the queen of blood. In my youth, a hundred lifetimes ago, she was worshipped as the Morrigan. She is my mother. She is yours, too. The Morrigan? The Celtic goddess of war? Is this a ruse of some kind? She has been worshipped in many forms throughout the ages. The true nature of the Red Queen is beyond your comprehension, eluding even mine. But know this, she is a vengeful mother. So the disaster is some sort of accident. A disease vampires carry dormant in their blood, waiting to emerge. That's your modern answer. But a disaster is, at the same time, both less and more. Tell me what it is, then, in your own words. A disaster is the pure will of our queen. Whenever she dreams of walking this earth, she awakes in this putrid vessel. I only wish to know how to put an end to this epidemic. To perform an act so noble, you must protect yourself from its poisonous kiss, my child. I know. McCullum used such a serum when trying to kill me. However, I have produced a more efficacious version of the antidote. Your final task awaits you at the end of these tunnels. I've known for ages you were worthy of this challenge. My champion, Bittersweet. What will happen thereafter? What future awaits me beyond these dark tunnels? Your fate, my child, and the fate of this land. A disaster is about to enter this world to smite us all and teach us humility. You are our final home. Will it be over then? Once I've defeated this creature? Yes. The threat will dissipate like so much smoke, for you will have purified its source. And then what? What will become of me? 
How would I know? I am no god, and your fate is in your own hands. For you are our champion. You tricked me. My sister died for your schemes. I have brought suffering and tragedy into this world. I am not, nor will I ever be your champion. Very soon you'll come to know that sacrifice is sometimes necessary. I understand the grudge a child bears towards his father and mother. Be brave, my child. Okay. We'll be doing this in the next one. I know it's a little early, but I'm going to cut it off here. I want this fight to start, uh, to start the next video. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you then.